Hi, everyone. This is Selena Belial, the founder and one of the instructors here at CE Institute, where we usually teach CE certificate classes to massage therapists, body workers, and cosmetology professionals. But we have many nurses and PTs and OTs and acupuncturists and so forth in our classes as well. And today we're just going to record a quick video for you here to provide better information about which cups you might consider acquiring if you are going to practice orthopedic cupping or cupping massage. I wrote an article for Massage Magazine last year, and if you want to take a look at the magazine that we're going to, um, or the article that we're going to review today, it's called Orthopedic Cupping Massage, a Distinct form of body work and you can find that at massagemag.com now i go through 10 we call it aim for 10 steps as in as if you're being judged at the olympics and trying to get a 10 from a judge aim for 10 steps with orthopedic cupping massage and below that article you'll find some information choosing the right cups for cupping massage this is the same as orthopedic cupping in orthopedic cupping we are we are keeping the cups in motion, okay? So to move the cups about the skin, there are a couple different types that we would recommend over others. The one thing that we don't teach at the school and that a lot of massage therapists, it's not within your purview or scope of practice, is fire cupping. I was trained at the Beijing Hospital in Beijing, China, back in 2021, right before, I'm sorry, 2001, right before 9-11. Um, <laughs> and we, I was very grateful to have left the country because after 9-11, people were a little bit wary, especially Americans, wary of foreign travel. So right before 9-11, I was in China for a month at the Beijing hospital and I learned the original. I mean, and I also have a New England School of Acupuncture. I did a um, couple month intro to Chinese medicine certification there in their night school program. So they also had a review and cupping there. They use fire cupping. Massage therapists um, and even some physical therapists or OTs, their, your boards might say uh, fire, use, using fire is not within your scope of practice. So it's great to be able to have these alternative cup materials where you can perform the reverse suction that's required in cupping to be able to achieve mild fascial release, breakdown of scar tissue, increased circulation, and all the other therapeutic benefits that result from cups in motion. So this right here shows you a picture of silicone cups. Uh, there are two primary plastic cups and then two primary silicone cupping sets on the market today. I have my favorites, but I'm going to tell you about these four sets of cups so that you can choose what you think might be best for you. Okay. I, for my cupping practice, I prefer the plastic cupping sets. That's because they have a, a hand pump and an air valve. And if the tissue starts to fissure, or bleed, I can immediately release the cup without creating more suction or um, pressure on the tissue by releasing the air valve. Okay, we teach about this in our orthopedic cupping class. So if you wanna see more specifics, please sign up for the orthopedic cupping class. Um, the I'll show you the two different plastic cups that we review in our orthopedic training. One is usually these are called a Kangzu set of cups. And it's interesting. I'm recording this in January, 2021. And the cups here, um, I'm not really finding Kangzu cups here on Amazon. So I don't know if there's like, you know, those trade wars going on or, or what's happening. Usually these Kangzu sets are very easily available and they're cheap. This set right here for 24 cups is only $27. So your cups end up being almost like a dollar each. The reason why I prefer these Kangzu cupping sets, the ones that look like these with the, these have yellow air valves on the top and your air valve looks like, and I'll show you, it's this little ball in the top of the cup. You just pull on that to easily release the cup from the, the skin. 
So if you applied too much suction, the client's complaining of discomfort, you'll want to immediately release the cup. Now there's a second set of plastic cups that are on the market. These ones right here are usually manufactured in China. And the benefits to them is there is an enormous amount of cup sizes, okay? There is, what, six different cup sizes in this set? And more importantly, if you look, there's at least two cups of the same size in each set. So when you're doing dynamic techniques, our definition of dynamic cupping massage at CE Institute is two cups in motion on the body. But these um, these second set of cups, the AccuZone cups um, and cupping sets that are primarily manufactured in Korea, these sets have a, they're a better quality plastic, but these sets have like a less variety of cupping sizes. So the majority, I would say like 94% of the cups are all the same size. And what's important to have when you have your cupping sets is to get usually at least two cups the same size and a lot of various sizes because the size of the cup that you're going to use on your thinar eminence versus the side of size of the cup that you're going to run over the hamstrings is going to be two to two very different sizes and sometimes it's hard to get two different sizes and and these cups i believe they only go up to two inches maybe where the kangzu set or the most of these cupping sets manufactured in china they have cups that are as large as almost three inches so almost 33 percent larger than some of these cups i will say that these cups from korea are made of higher grade plastic so they're usually more expensive. It's a better quality material. That doesn't necessarily translate to better therapy for hands-on practice and soft tissue manipulation. The difference is cracking of the material. These cups are purported to be made of baby, um, baby bottle plastic grade material, which is a pretty high grade plastic. These cups are like toy plastic. <laughs> And I found even simple uh, repeated washing and drying of the cup with grease cutting detergents simply um, cause cracking of the cups, which is not desirable. Once the cup is cracked, it should be discarded. You should not use uh, uh, plastic cups that are cracked. So I believe I've reviewed about the plastic cupping sets. They're fairly affordable, usually under $40. Your goal is to get an air pump with your plastic cup with an air valve that you can quickly release to be able to release the cup off from the soft tissue. Um, in, in America, if the client says it's uncomfortable, we need to release the cup immediately. Where in China, in, in the Beijing hospital where we clinicked, if it was uncomfortable to the patient, it was too bad. <laughs> they left the cup there. <laughs> and that's because, you know, first of all, they're using it as medical treatment in a hospital environment. And second of all, there's there's kind of less a little bit of human rights, maybe, I'm, I'm not sure, but they just, you know, if if it was uncomfortable, you you it was tough. That's that was the treatment, and that's what you're getting. If you do that in America, you're probably going to get sued for it. So please, if the client's uncomfortable during your cupping service, and hopefully you're properly trained before you're practicing, um, you should uh, cease practice immediately. If it's uh, uncomfortable, readjust, reapply if they want to continue or provide another service, or discontinue the appointment altogether. And um, that's your choice of how you proceed if it's uncomfortable for the client. I feel that air plastic cups are the best cups to use in America when you cannot use fire cupping to be able to apply and be safe and honor a client's desire to continue with comfort or immediate cease if it's uncomfortable. Now, there are many benefits to the pump cups, the plastic cups. They're all detailed here in this Massage Magazine article if you wanna learn more. There are some plastic cups on the market that have twist suction. I do not recommend these because trying to untwist a cup 
If the client's skin starts to break or even bleed, it takes a considerable amount of time and there's pulling on the skin that might be already tearing and you want that would cause further tears. So I, I like the plastic twist cup suction, but they're much more expensive. And why pay, you know, four times the price for something that I feel is less effective? They are made of the higher grade plastic, not the toy grade plastic that's usually used in those large cupping sets. But I do not like the twist cups. I leave that to you if you want to purchase those. Now, there are silicone cups that... I don't like using these for, for large movement areas when it's just soft tissue. I have found that there's a better glide and more comfortable glide with the air pump cups. With the air pump cups, the plastic cups, if you want to apply more air, you can. You just put the, the pump right onto the cup and, and pull some more suction into it. The silicone cups are a one and done application. OK, and if it's it's looks like this right here, if you don't get enough suction into the cup, then you have to pull the cup off the body. There's no air valve to release it and you have to reapply the cup. Now, there are two different silicone cups that are being primarily manufactured and sold today. One is the accordion style cups that you can. It's almost like a plunger that you can push down or you can take like the bottom portion of the accordion and the top portion, put uh, push them together and then put it on the skin and release and that'll create suction. Okay, that reverse suction that draws the soft tissues into the cup. The problem with this is there's no way to control how much suction or how little suction you get into the cup. It's just whatever applies, okay? Not a very reasonable way to apply a cup here in America. Now, there's another cup that's gaining popularity, and they are the bell cups for silicone cups, and they look like this right here. The smaller, longer ones I like for facial cupping, if you practice facial cupping, and the, the larger ones are supposed to be for body. Now, with these, you just take your, and put your whole hand over it. You can squeeze the bell put it on the soft tissue release and that that allows the soft tissue uh, reverse suction. The problem with these, again, it, I call it a one and done application. You can't choose how much suction goes into that cup, unlike the plastic cups that have an air pump where, where you can do a quarter pump, half pump, three pumps, whatever. You, you can control the suction. With the silicone cups, whether it's the accordion or bell cups, you cannot control that suction. Whatever they apply, it's um, it, that's go going to be what it is. Now, I have to tell you, I usually am able to achieve better suction in the accordion cups, which are here uh, on the left and right hand sides of the screen. They're clear cups. And I prefer clear cups over colored cups, the two blue sets of cups in the middle. It's very important to be able to see the skin, the redness of the skin, or if the skin is bleeding, if it's starting to fissure or crack or tear, okay? And it's harder to see blood through a colored cup, especially the pink ones, versus these clear cups, you can more easily see blood product on the skin if there's been any skin tearing and stuff like that. Skin tearing can occur when somebody is applying topical steroids. Um, geriatrics have much thinner skin. There's many different um, contraindications and service precautions that need to be observed uh, with cupping practice. And that's something that's taught in a longer CE class. Now, again, if you want to come to massagemagazine.com, we have this article uh, printed here with them. We also have it on our blog here at CE Institute. And you can probably find some more information about cupping and even sign up for a cupping class at the school. Um, and we'd love to see you in a training. So we are at ceinstitute.com. That's CE as in continuing education, ceinstitute.com. My name is Selena Belial again. And until we see you in a class, be safe.